under the tools menu there is an option called masks and here we can build a mask around any particular waveform and count the number of occurrences that the waveform changes. So in this example we're going to build a mask around a narrow pulse but occasionally a wider pulse occurs so we want to see how many occurrences of the narrow to the wide pulse occurs. So I'm going to stop the acquisition at this point and then build a mask around the narrow pulse and then detect when the wider pulse occurs. So to build the mask again we select the tools, mask menu and then select add mask and here we can generate the mask and we can select the time and voltage sensitivity so I'm going to leave the uh, time at 20 microseconds and I'll just decrease the voltage sensitivity to 50 millivolts and then generate a mask and then apply the mask test close it so here we see the mask that has been uh, built around this particular pulse uh, we can again stop and start the acquisition here so I've just cleared the acquisition so at the bottom now we have a table and we can see the number of occurrences of the waveform that has been acquired so I'm going to run the acquisition and acquire some pulses so, so we've just run it to a couple of times there so there we've seen 10 uh, 16 captures etc but we can see how many are failing outside the mask so if we could stop at that point so here we can see there's been 41 occurrences of the capture and 20 of them have failed uh, have been the, the wider pulse so in fact by running this test we can see that it's about a 50 50 split between the uh, the narrow and the wide pulses it is possible to edit the uh, mask shape and this is done with a right mouse click and then selecting the mask menu and edit the mask and then we can see the table of all the points that have been built so here we can see the individual points and it's possible then to pick up each individual point and move them with the mouse so for example we could make the mask much wider in fact so it included every pulse that was occurring in this particular example and then we can close it if you needed to uh, change the lower mask you can again select that so now we could again run this test and here obviously now we're going to be seeing uh, no failures because the mask is including the wider and the narrow pulse so there we see a wide pulse and it has not failed the mask test mask test can also be used in the uh, frequency domain so now I'm going to apply a different signal to the input and I'll just do an auto uh, set on it so this is in fact uh, a, a repeating clock signal and now we're going to go and select the spectrum mode so here we see uh, a spectrum of the signal and again we can change the uh, the bandwidth so I'm just going to look at a, say a, up to 2 megahertz so we've gone from DC to 2 megahertz display and again we can build a mask around this particular signal so again we select tools mask and again add the mask and generate and then again we can change the sensitivity so I'll change the sensitivity down to uh, 20 kilohertz and again use uh, 50 millivolts and then generate a mask and apply so here we see now a mask in the frequency and if we uh, run this we can see that this signal is pretty well repeating there's just uh, an occasional uh, little components in the noise so this is a very good test to see if any extra frequency components appear in the selected bandwidth